Deputy Chief Minister Prastun Tensong today informed that the government will restart procuring fertilizers from the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers and provide farmers of the state with 50% subsidized fertilizers. The minister informed that he and Chief Minister Konrad Sangma will be going to New Delhi soon to discuss on the matter. Tensong said that this decision was undertaken as farmers have been facing difficulties and their production has gone down by 50% ever since the government in 2014 discontinued the fertilizer subsidy scheme. Uh, the, the, the farmers association from East Kasi Hills, they came and met me and their demand was very clear. In fact, the, these demands have been submitted quite a number of times be it to the uh, agricul honourable agriculture minister, be it to the to, uh, to, to, to the uh, to the chief minister, and be it to me also. So today, in fact, after receiving the memorandum, just last month we decided from the government side that banning for supply of fertilizers in the state of Mekla, which was done earlier by the government under the leadership of Dr. Mukul Sangma, way back 2014. This month, dated 9th August 2022, Agriculture Department issued the notification that supplying of fertilizers in the state of Mekla is now allowed so that the concerned stakeholders, farmers, can procure these fertilizers. Saying that, you need to understand, fertilizers is a control item. Control item means it's being regulated by the Ministry of Fertilizers, Government of India. And we decided CM will take it up this with the concerned ministry and next week we will be in Delhi to take up this issue aggressively and number two, number two, to create a separate quota for the state of Meghala for smooth supplying of the fertilizers and these fertilizers will be ultimately rooted through the MECOFET government of Megla, which falls under the cooperation department. So that is the point number one, where I've already communicated to all of them that as far as fertilizers is concerned, the crisis of fertilizers right from 2014 till today, I should say, compulsion was made to all the farmers where they have to ultimately procure it from the black market or I should say illegally. And the price of this one has gone up maybe four times, five times from the basic price. So this is what we decided from the government and we already issued the notification. Then the issue number two they requested the state government to also, to also again extend subsidy of these items, of the fertilizers. So today morning, let me just inform, I've already informed them also that the government has taken a decision. Chief Minister and myself were together. we taken a decision that 50% subsidy will be extended to the farmers who procure these fertilizers 50 percent example if the price of fertilizer is 500 rupees per kg then 250 kg, uh, 250 rupees will be borne by the state government and 250 rupees will be Born by them, by the concerned farmers. And this notification, I would like to inform all of you, will be 
issued next week from the Department of Cooperation because MECOFED falls under the Cooperation Department. So these, these are the decisions and these are the information that I have already conveyed to all the members of the Car Sales Association as well as to all of you so that you can circulate throughout the state. Meanwhile, the East Kasi Hills farmer's body has lauded the government's decision. We are very, we are so happy now. Because see, the backbone of a state depends on the farmer. So if the rate of the fertilizer, 1200, 1300, 1500, so the poor farmer, they cannot buy the fertilizer. So by, re by reduce the subsidy, and getting 50%, example, the fertilizer directly come to the company, or uh, supplied by the company directly to make a fan, 500. So if the government give 50% of subsidy, 250 from the government, and 250 the farmer can buy from make a fan. That is the benefit of the farmer. So that's why we are so happy for this.